Hello friends, this is Low Rate Hitman. How the heck are you doing? Well, we've got another installment of my honest reviews today. Uh, I posted on my community channel a poll and had 170 plus votes. And uh, it seems like Magni and Costume Magni's uh, won the poll result. So that's what I'm doing today. But with that said, if I got 171 votes, I could get 171 likes. Man, that would be amazing. Don't be shy with them likes. If you guys watch this video, that would be amazing too, right? I don't ask for that too much. But anyhow, let's get on to my honest review of Magni. Uh, so where to start? I'm going to say Magni was my first hero that I actually fully leveled probably five years ago. Um, back during that meta, he would be used on a flank due to Strike of the Ancients and him being fast, the caster and nearby allies getting plus 63 defense for four turns. Back then, he was an amazing staple to everybody's offense and defense, being fast and being a sniper, uh, just the bee's knees, fighter class, you know, he would revive, then go off again and snipe somebody, you know, back in the day, he was just a troublesome soul, you know, and, uh, as the meta progressed, unfortunately, you know, he, uh, he got weeded out of defenses and everybody already had him leveled. So he would just be used on offense, uh, until eventually, a lot of people, you know, just put him in the closet and he wasn't used. And I mean, for, you know, I don't know have his original stats. All I have is, you know, his limit break broke stats now. I never limit broke him until recently, until I got both of his costumes. Uh, but he was by far not this powerful, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, let's go on to the second costume. And uh, I think that would have been this one. This was the second one that was released. That had Strike of the Monolith. Uh, the targeted nearby enemies get minus 34 defense for four turns. Uh, which is great with 420 damage. I believe this was uh, a major upgrade from his original card. Being how the minus 34 defense for four turns, that, that would apply to tile damage. Which, uh, there was an error, which, and still there is an error where tile damage was heavily influential in the game. And this card granted Magni that ability, you know, to where you could switch over to this or keep the original. Which, uh, this costume I never used, uh, to be honest with you. Druid class. Uh, I mean, it's very straightforward. Magni's always been a very straightforward. He's a fast character, sniper. Uh, I think until this last costume is where he really, his shine really come out. You know, uh, being a barbarian, I mean, rogue class, of course, is beneficial to him being on some defenses, which in the current meta, you do see... The defense, uh, this particular costume, Magna. This is costume two, I believe. That's the name of it. Proper terminology. Uh, Strike of the Underworld. Uh, mana speed fast, of course. Deals 285 damage to the target and nearby enemies. That's That was the big change, was the target and nearby enemies. That makes this costume shine the best out of all of the Magna cards. Uh, and also the target and nearby enemies get minus 64 defense against special skills for four turns at a fast speed, which really makes this card shine on offense. And, uh, I had somebody question yesterday, you know, my thoughts on defense and offense. Of course, the, the, this card in general, putting them on defense, you know, you can't control, what characters are hit by the special the ai is not too bright and a lot of times 
you know, uh, Magni will go off and only hit two characters versus three. Uh, the, AI, the AI is not in your favor on defense. So, I mean, it's iffy. I mean, if you got to throw somebody on defense, he's cool. But where he shines, really, that I found personally is uh, his flexibility on offense. You can put him in, uh, you run a rainbow team, which, you know, rainbows are really hard to run in the meta on offense. Uh, but if you can run a fast rainbow team like I do, and I can break away and just show you an example real quick. Uh, yeah, I even got him on my defense, but I mean, my defense is just horrible. But uh, traditionally, uh, I'd run them in something like this right here where everything is pretty much fast. Uh, get the Magni to go off first, and then you can run the Serendite and the Am Amethyst and the Mistweaver, you know. If you can get those matches and make them go off, it's just uh, pound town city. You know, it's devastation. This uh, minus 64 defense against special skills is just tremendous as a setup, man. You know, he sets it up and everybody just cleans house. An amazing card, an amazing, amazing hero, actually. And they did a really good job on this. And uh, I'm grateful that I've I actually got the costume and able to level up. And it's not only just the costume. It's also the family bonus. You know, you compare them with a lot of these uh, season one heroes that's got multiple costumes. And they all get costume bonuses. And, and the power just goes out the roof. Uh, of course, the bonus for fully ascended two, three, four, and five, you know, that's plus seven percent attack, seven percent defense, seven percent healing. And then on class level 20, uh, the hero it, it's upgraded to a superior class, so six percent chance to dodge direct damage from offensive special skills if this effect is triggered. This hero and nearby allies get 15% chance to dodge special skills for three turns. So, I mean, uh, just amazing. I mean, costume bonus on top of it. So, you, full, you level up these costumes and everything. You're getting a 15% attack bonus, 15% defense bonus, 20% health bonus, and a 5% mana bonus. Just amazing. I mean, uh, I could go on and on about this card. I'm just so grateful I've been able to uh, use this card, acquire it, leveled up. Uh, it's been a huge blessing in my offense. Like I said, defense is iffy. Everybody's got their own opinions. I just don't like the way the AI sets things up when it fires the specials off. It's just not ideal for me to put on defenses, even though you see it in mine. I don't personally care about defense. I don't have uh, my philosophy in the way that I level characters up. I tend to like to level characters up that are offensive and defensive. But if they're not, I primarily want to get offensive characters. And a lot of my characters are offensive characters. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. I don't care about defense. I do in war, but I, I don't in raids. It's ridiculous. It's just uh, like the current defense. I could I could throw a Ludwig up there. That's what everybody's doing. And, you know, uh, you can follow the trends if you want. I mean, it's all good. It's just irrelevant to me. You don't get anything from raids. You don't get anything but an ego boost for being number one. It's not like you get a special present from SG, you know, every week for being in the top of the leaderboards. It just doesn't happen. It's no initiative outside of ego. In which I really don't have an ego. At least I don't think I do. I mean, I guess we all do. Mine's just not too great. Uh, but with that said, uh, that's my honest review of Magni. I mean, uh, he opens up new doors. You can run Rainbow. And if you have fast Rainbow heroes, you know, you get him to go off. Like I said, he just obliterates uh, defenses. And he can take a beating. You know, you look at these stats, a 1,000 attack, 
almost 900 defense and almost 2,000 health. So he, he can he can give a beating and he can take a beating. So what more do you want from a hero? This is a, it's a well-rounded, balanced hero. Hit three fast. Good job, SG. And thank you for making him an actual great card, even though he was a great card in the beginning. So you stayed true to Magni. And uh, let me know your thoughts on Magni. Do you, do you, do you, am I accurate? Do you enjoy him? Am I off base? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, he's a, he's a great hero. And with that said, you guys are great as well. And I thank you for stopping by my honest review. And uh, yeah, start a discussion in the comments section. You know, and I appreciate you guys uh, doing the poll. And that's how I will do things from here on out is I'll give you guys a couple options and I'll give you 10, 11 hours to choose. And, uh, you know, I'll do this. I've got a uh, few days off every week now. And uh, I'll do one a day. I'm not going to throw them out there like crazy, but I'll probably try and do one a day. You know, that'll equal about three a week. And that'll be one a day on my days off. I won't do them during my work days. But uh, with that said, I thank you for stopping by. And uh, until next time.